Um, my name is Morgan Bricka, and I've been a professional mural artist for 15 years, and I'm from San Francisco, California. An email this spring from um, actually Andrea initially saying, would you be interested in coming to this island to paint? And she included four photos. And I responded and I said, yes. I'm sorry if I sound too eager, but you sent me the most beautiful photos I've ever seen. And that was just the beginning. The greenery. The, I felt like there was a certain power, like energy, with how majestic the landscape was. And the fact that, you know, I could see from the photos how many flowers grew here. So there's this majesty. There's also the sweetness, or this, there's a lot of delicacy and tenderness. And it's not all, you know, volcanic drama. It's just this really beautiful balance. Five years ago, I decided to focus my work on public murals. And so I have seen firsthand, like daily in my work, how people feel differently about where they live. And um, they feel better in a place when there's care and art, actually unique. It gives them a unique identity or feel around where they live. I saw your two walls of the birds and the orchid in the, the cafe and I really, really like the orchid and the birds are really, really cool. It makes me very happy to look at these walls that were like very old and now it's nice summertime that they're painting the walls and she's doing this kind of work and it's, it's actually nice, it's very beautiful and it should stay like that for a few years now. <laughs> Acho que é um contributo para a ilha e uma coisa bonita, fica bonito. É bonito e é pena nascer mais ainda. A ilha das flores precisava mesmo de, de, de alegria, de vida, de cor e, e este, estas pinturas estão fantásticas, estão lindas. É olhar, admirar e apreciar. É como a gente está a ver a natureza e está a ver as imagens dela é igual. Como se pensa, olhas e deslumbra-se. Nada mais. Isto está a mudar a nossa paisagem também. Portanto, aqui, e, e depois tem uma coisa, tem a ver também connosco, tem a ver com, com natureza, tem a ver com, 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 com aves, tem a ver com, com, com plantas que, que nos dizem respeito, especialmente as plantas que são, que são originárias de cá, que são autóctones. Portanto, isto representa um pouco a, a natureza da ilha. As an outsider, uh, I can see how unique this island is compared to every other place I've been. And I think the people here know that they live in a beautiful space, but there's a way in, in which by celebrating it through art and putting it right up in front of them, the beauty of the birds that they see every day, all of a sudden they see it as a work of art on the wall, I think it will give them a sense of real pride in where they live and understanding, um, you know, as, as the pressures to develop tourism on the island grow, that um, they see what is so valuable about this island and they grow in a way that keeps it intact as a natural resource um, with integrity and a, a growth that isn't based on a cookie cutter, you know, growth tourism model. Art brings about such a transformation and through my work I've gotten to see that. Like I have seen it happen enough now through my projects where I know what's coming. I know the oohs and the ahs that are going to come when the children come around the corner when I've been painting a mural. You know, I know how nervous the building owner is going to be before I start. I mean, I've seen this over and over again. And then by the end of the project, their heart is so open, they're so happy, they're so proud, they can't believe, you know, all of a sudden people want to use a whole different entrance because the mural's there, or they feel so different, so proud about that space. 
before it was an eyesore. It was like, oh, kind of don't look at me wall is now like a focal point of pride. And the way people, you know, I'm a visual person. This is like, this is my thing. And other people don't realize how much their environment is impacting the way they think and feel in a space. And so, you know, the before and after is so tremendous. And I do have the feeling that this will be a long-term passion project for me as well. Like, I suspect, I mean, I'm certain I will be back and developing this concept as the best we can. I mean, it takes time. I mean, I think sometimes when you go to a place that isn't your own and you don't take it for granted so much, you actually see a slightly different perspective. And so I think that fits in with what I do. I think I just, my work is about serving the story of that community. And I think bringing an outside perspective is great with that. To share this idea, you know, that a community can be transformed with art that reflects who that community is and what is, celebrate something really special about that community. And I don't think it has to be me, but I think it's important to share that message that um, this is important. It makes us human. It brings us together. It gives us a sense of place and identity. It's so important. We can't neglect our community spaces. Sim, a Ilha das Flores é uma pérola perdida no meio do oceano. A Ilha das Flores toda ela é bonita. Eu também não nasci cá, não sou de cá. Eu nasci, pronto, nasci em África, moro, moro em Lisboa, estou aqui a trabalhar. E sempre que levo um pouco da, da imagem da, da Ilha das Flores para fora, as pessoas ficam de boca aberta, não conhecem a Ilha das Flores, as paisagens, as belezas. E, e, e estas pinturas é como se diz na gíria, um acrescento mais à própria beleza da ilha. Ilha das Flores é diamante, no gold, diamante. Isto é uma ilha que. Praticamente está tudo natural. Só que esta ilha está considerada entre as sete, as sete mais bonitas do mundo. We, we are from here, from the planet. But we don't need to destroy. If you see something beautiful like the murals, uh, you go stay better in the, in the village here. You feel better. That, you, you see color, some color, some joy, and that, that is great. I love to live here and not leave the for nada. On all my projects, I am typically the hired hand, and there's always an instigator who is not me, who brings me into their community, who has a vision for their space. And in this case, you know, Andrea and Casey are the sponsors of this project. They did a ton of legwork. They, um, they flew me out here, provided me with all the materials, lodging, food. I mean, I am, I am being compensated with this enormous, you know, uh, vacation. <laughs> I shouldn't say it like that, but I should say, I, I should say the gift is not all mine. The gift is also from Andrea and Casey who love this island and who want to see the best for it. The conservation of nature. Yeah. A través de arte. They have something that nobody else in the world has. Mm -hmm. They have a mortgage. Mm -hmm. I think we have a great impact. I think we have a great impact, not just the artwork itself, but the fact that it's a gift. I think that's another layer. And, uh, and that's where not just Toki, but Morgan comes in also. The fact that it, she can do it, and then that she can give it, you know. That is such a nice, nice thing to be able to witness and in some form participate of somebody who can do so well and give so kindly, so gently, so generously. That was amazing. And most artists, when you see them work, you go, damn, that seems so easy. I'm going to start doing it. And I'm going to do a mural, mural too. The speed at which you were at, the concentration, the knowing of the color. Um, you know, you look at the bare palette, and it has the yellows and the, the, the blues, and uh, and then it goes on and on and on. It becomes oranges and greens, and uh, and then she goes back and forth, and that orange is now greener, but she goes and then to another place, or so comes back, and that orange is green again, and that green is orange again, 
and just have pellets go back and forth. This sets a standard, especially for floors, is two things. This has a standard of quality. Um, other projects will show up, maybe too choky, maybe not too choky. But for all purposes, this sets a standard of quality. Of, and also, it sets a standard for generosity also, because it's a big part of this project. Yeah, this is given. Nobody asks anything in return. So in those sense, and in those two points, I think it's very important for Flush. It sets a standard for aesthetics of a, of a project. And then also it sets a standard for generosity. Uh, for me, it's super meaningful. I mean, it's an opportunity for my art to be of service mm -hmm. to this community. That's how I see it. So I feel like I'm serving their vision. I feel like I'm serving the community of Flourish. That makes me happy. That's what my art is about, is, is you know, I want to use images of nature, but to be of service, to um, build community, build awareness of our natural environment. Mm -hmm. And um, also, you know, I like my art to make people smile. It's actually not controversial, my art. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very easy for across generations to appreciate, you know, for everybody. Like, it's about them. It shouldn't be about me or my ID or some narrow ideology. It should be something like, oh, we're about this. Mm -hmm. And it's easy for everyone to really feel united and together on it. I think my art is very uniting. I saw this from over there and I said, really? That's so big, so beautiful. My God. I didn't know I was have this uh, impact or this surprise, you know, here on this place. It's really. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I love this. Every day I wake up and I say, this is my dream come true, you know, painting beautiful nature for people to enjoy. You know, I get to leave this gift, something I can do uniquely well, and I'm just so happy, happy, happy doing that, painting every day. I love it. Eu já tinha falado que já tinha o trabalho, já tinha visto e não pensava, não era bem não pensar, tinha algum receio como é que se ia enquadrar na Ilha das Flores projeto eh, dos morais. Para espanto meu, foi enquadrado na perfeição. Não basta pôr aqui os morais, eh, uns bonecos, uns desenhos, ou seja, houve um certo cuidado em, eh, em, pôr, em fazer pinturas com plantas, com aves, os tortilhões. É um projeto que se enquadra perfeitamente naquilo que é os, os seres vivos, entre aspas, endémicos aqui da ilha, que são as plantas, as árvores, e acho que fica uma combinação perfeita. Uh, na gestão, na administração do tribunal, os órgãos de gestão aceitaram uh, participar, não, é? uh, não se fizeram, pelo contrário, aceitaram a ideia de bem, também pelo facto do que eram os motivos que iam colocar expostos, ou seja, a natureza. É? Portanto, a pintura em si não é provocadora, é perfeitamente enquadrada, não é? Ela é provocadora só pelo facto de ser uma pintura num sítio que não existia ou nunca ninguém pensou antes que pudesse ser usado para esse fim. Só esse pequeno passo não é? é importante, mas foi importante também o enquadramento que fizeram, que faz todo o sentido na natureza onde estamos. To paint a scene with waterfalls and hydrangeas, like it looks fake, but it's not. Hopefully, she comes here more. Okay. Do you want to help? Okay. I was waiting for Morgan to crash. Never did. <laughs> I did for that. Now I get to crack. <laughs> <laughs> I have a big meltdown now. I love this. I love this. I what I there's so many things I love about this. Specifically, I love and I'm about to just ruin wall and I painted so what many walls. Like I know what kind of brush I want to use. I know what thickness I want the paints to be. I know how I want it to emerge from the wall. Like this is just the right amount of challenge and interest and it's just different than anything I've done before. But it's like I know also just where I want to go with it.
an email this spring from um, actually Andrea initially saying, would you be interested in coming to this island to paint? And she included four photos. And I responded and I said, yes. I'm sorry if I sound too eager, but you sent me the most beautiful photos I've ever seen. And that was just the beginning. 